Welcome to Gaul Dutch Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the charming coastal town of Gaul, Sri Lanka. Built by the Portuguese in the 16th century and later fortified by the Dutch in the 17th century, the fort is a fascinating mix of European and Asian architectural styles, with a rich history spanning over four centuries. In this video, we'll take you on a virtual tour of the Gaul Dutch Fort, showcasing its stunning natural scenery, charming streets, and historic landmarks. You'll see the impressive ramparts, bastions, and cannons that have stood the test of time, as well as the picturesque churches, mosques, and temples that reflect the diverse cultural heritage of Sri Lanka. Whether you're a history lover, an architecture enthusiast, or simply looking for a unique travel experience, the Gaul Dutch Fort is a must-see attraction on your Sri Lanka travel list. So sit back, relax, and let us take you to this enchanting destination on the island paradise of Sri Lanka, The fort's walls, which stretch over 3 kilometers and reach a height of 18 meters in some places, offer spectacular views of the ocean and the town of Gaul. Visitors can explore the fort's numerous attractions, including the Dutch Reformed Church, the National Maritime Museum, and the iconic lighthouse. Walking through the fort's narrow streets and alleys, visitors will encounter a variety of shops selling handicrafts, spices, and other local goods. The fort is also home to several charming cafes and restaurants, where visitors can relax and enjoy a meal while taking in the fort's unique atmosphere. Throughout its history, the Gaul Dutch Fort has been a site of strategic importance, with various colonial powers vying for control of its defences. Today, it stands as a testament to Sri Lanka's rich history and cultural heritage. The Gaul Dutch Fort also features a striking lighthouse that has been a prominent landmark of the city for over 150 years. Standing tall at 26.5 meters, 87 feet, the lighthouse was first built in 1848 by the British to guide ships entering the Gaul harbor. It was then rebuilt in 1939, and the current lighthouse has been in operation since then. Visitors can climb up to the top of the lighthouse to enjoy breathtaking views of the Indian Ocean, the fort and the surrounding city. The ascent to the top is a bit steep and narrow, but the stunning panoramic views from the top make it all worth it. The lighthouse also features a small museum at the bottom, where visitors can learn about the history of the lighthouse and see some of its original equipment. It is definitely worth a visit for those interested in maritime history and architecture. The cannons at the Gaul Dutch Fort are one of its most impressive features. The fort was built during a time of great conflict, and the cannons were an important part of its defense. Today, visitors can see dozens of these massive weapons, each one a testament to the fort's storied history. The cannons were originally used to defend the fort from enemy attacks. 
they were strategically placed along the ramparts and bastions, giving the defenders a clear view of the surrounding area. When enemy ships approached, the cannons would be fired, sending a barrage of cannonballs hurtling toward the attackers. In addition to their practical use, the cannons also have a symbolic significance. They represent the strength and resilience of the people who built and defended the fort. Many of the cannons are inscribed with the names of the Dutch East India Company and the dates of their manufacture, providing a fascinating glimpse into the history of this important site. Today, the cannons are one of the most popular attractions at the Gaul Dutch Fort. Visitors can walk along the ramparts and admire these massive weapons up close, imagining what it must have been like to fire them in defense of the fort. The cannons are a powerful reminder of the fort's rich history, and a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the people who built it. Flag Rock Bastion is one of the most prominent landmarks at Gaul Dutch Fort. It is a massive rock structure that juts out from the sea and offers a panoramic view of the Indian Ocean. The bastion is named after the flagpole that was erected on the rock during the Dutch colonial era, which was used to signal the arrival of ships to the port. Today, Flag Rock Bastion is a popular spot for tourists to enjoy stunning views of the sunset and to witness the waves crashing against the rocks. Many visitors come here to take pictures of the breathtaking scenery and to capture the beauty of the fort from this unique perspective. If you like this video please subscribe to this channel and click on like button. Please visit Sri Lanka and experience. Thank you for watching.